When you're aligned with your true being, you feel it. You may not recognize it as such in the moment. You may not say to yourself, oh, I'm aligned with my true being, that's why I feel so good. No, most of us don't do that. We just recognize something feels right. It feels natural. You feel in the groove, in the pocket, or in the flow. Now, notice, were it not for this sense of joy or ease, how would you ever know you were in the flow, where you were aligned? How would you recognize an awakening or even the ultimate enlightenment were there not a happiness, a sense of freedom, a sense of naturalness present? Conversely, when you're miserable, don't you know it? And don't you seek a way out of it? Now, Granted, some of the ways we try to get out of our misery lead absolutely nowhere. We find disappointing and sometimes even disastrous results. But the quest doesn't stop, does it? Just because you don't find it that first time or the hundredth time, and even if on the surface you've completely given up, isn't there a movement towards that kind of joy that is not achieved, but is inherent? We can't help ourselves. We're wired to look for that place because somewhere inside of us, we know it is there to be found. We instinctively know the difference between misery and happiness. We just know it. No one taught us. We didn't learn it anywhere. So this subtle feeling serves a function. It's not just arbitrary. Our feelings are not just conditioning. The sculpture molds the clay or chips away at the stone. The musician picks and chooses and rejects chords, phrases, and notes according to their inner leading. That inner leading or guiding principle is invisible. It's quite silent. I know this personally from my own experience in music. Why this note and why not that note? There are manuscripts of Beethoven's rejections, those that he did not think were good. When you look at them, you'll see these violent lines all over the page. You can just picture him sitting there scratching the pen against the paper in utter frustration. What was happening? He was always quite irritated with Mozart, for whom it just happened. He would sit there and it just came, first time, no edits, like he was taking dictation. Beethoven, on the other hand, was more like me and you. He was being guided by the feeling of, this isn't it, and kept going until the feeling said, this is it. I'm sure this feeling is familiar to all of us. Writers of any kind be it an essay for school, a report at work, a note to your kids, or an email to a friend, we're constantly including and excluding this or that word, this or that phrase or idea. We're always looking for the word and rejecting those that simply get the inner leading of, no, that's not it. Notice, you don't have a word in your mind that you're comparing it to. You're looking for it. If you were comparing it to the word you had in your head, you just write it down. There'd be no need for a search. But there's something very silent, but very present, that's assessing and leading, saying yes and no. We are looking at the whole thing through the eyes of this invisible knowingness. It's a very mysterious sense of knowing. There's no way we can pinpoint it or describe it. 
it's difficult to even talk about it. All we can do is point back towards what is an experience common to us all. That's what I'm doing right now as I sit and write this, trying to find the words that we all actually already know. Something inside of us is always aware. It always knows. There's a knowingness that is there before the form or word or phrase even appears. It's this knowingness that is at the heart of spiritual life. Getting to know this knowingness is the heart of meditation and spiritual practice. Coming into an awareness of and a trust in that inner leading, that inner guide, that sense of just knowing. To eventually find it is flawless and infallible. It never misses. And as we walk that path and come to that place of awareness and trust, we find deep within us our true mind, our true creative instinct, and our deepest inner artist. <laughs>